So Red, we talked a little about your basic training and then from basic training in Florida you went to Keesler Field in Mississippi to become uh, trained in aircraft mechanics. You were going to be a flight engineer on the bomber. Tell us a little about that. Uh, you said they just decided that some guys were going to go for that training? Yes, we, we didn't have a choice ourselves. Uh, apparently the uh, military just had already figured out that so much of this group they were going to send them to mechanic school, this, these groups, they go to, to uh, armament school, this one goes to uh, uh, gunner school. So you didn't have a, a chance to say, I'd like to be, so forth. I see. I see. All right, so when you got to Kiesel Field, Mississippi, and you were trained in aircraft mechanics, what kinds of things did you study there? What did you enjoy most? What was the hardest for you and stuff? Uh, really, in that light, I, I can't remember anything other than uh, I, we, our particular uh, squadron, uh, or we went to school from 11 at night to 7 in the morning. Mm -hmm. And in Mississippi, uh, you try to sleep in that heat, <laughs> humidity, you know, all day long, mm -hmm. and the other guys are out there s marching and screaming mm -hmm. and all, and uh, that, uh, not counting the why we were in uh, mechanic school, and, uh, what we, I remember we, uh, we learned everything how to make out a 47B, which is the aircraft uh, uh, maintenance book. They, they went, went there and started up. Uh, uh, to exactly what we studied is left me. I don't really remember. Sure. That's okay. Well, from aircraft mechanic school, you went to gunnery school in the south South Texas, right? Right. What was gunnery school like? I understand that you t they trained you how to shoot skeet first, and then you learned how to hit moving targets and all that kind of stuff. What was yeah, that like yeah. for you? You started out the shooting regular skeet. This is it's shot even to this day, and then they had a, the two phases. The next phase, now you're shooting at uh, high target. Uh huh. The, and and. And it changed everything. You had to learn, to, oh no, you got to leave it more, so forth. Yeah, so that the target flies into the fire, right? Yes, it's on that line, yes. Yep. That, then they had the last one where we're, uh, we learned in school how to take a 50 caliber or a 30 caliber machine gun. Those are on different type of aircraft. We could, we got so we could. Uh, Dismantle those things and then put it all back and show it to the instructor. And blindfolded, you're right? You're doing this blindfolded. Wow. Then you got to put it, re reassemble it, all blindfolded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But once you pass this, now for the first time, uh, you get to see and shoot the actual machine guns itself. They had a, uh, a mechanized me mechanic uh, dummies that uh, were hooked to uh, jeeps. The jeeps then was way out from us. This one would be a hundred of, of yards from us. By the time it made a circle, it's way out there 300 yards or 500 yards. And you got to learn, that's how you la learn to shoot this gun and lead that thing, just like it's an airplane. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it comes back around, you know, you get all that the shooting. Well, you get tired of Pretty soon your ears get to buzz and <laughs> sure. there's another guy right on both sides of us you're doing the same thing. Yeah. And then th the last part, I guess, you were flying up in a, a Texan AT-6 training aircraft. Yes. And you were actually flying in the sky right. and yeah. trying to hit some tow targets that way. What was that like for you? T tow targets. Uh, we had you out in the open in, in the aircraft strapped from your uh, parachutes down to the floor in case they made a fast turn, you know. Yep. And that, then they had uh, aircraft towing these great long uh, targets. Uh, each one, uh, each gunner had a different color of paint 
on the bullets itself, mm -hmm. the lead portion. Yep. So that's how they, we get down, the instructors and so forth knew which uh, fellow shot, got the, if, if he only shot, he hit six of them, he ain't going to make much for, for the gunner, you know. Mm -hmm. but that, but that lasted about oh, two weeks. And you got pretty good, I guess. And that was the, the final uh, thing. That if you graduated then, you were yeah. on your way. And a quick follow-up to that. This training you got was because you were not only a flight engineer, you were going to be a gunner on the top turret of the plane, right? Yeah, when, yeah, right. So you had two sets of duties. Oh, yes, yes. I understand. Yeah, sure did.